struggle externalized. <laughs> your former self and your past self fight. I mean, uh. Uh, but anyway, uh, this matchup is uh, these two have played quite a bit. I don't know the exact record between them. I definitely have seen both of them take sets off of the other. So, okay. I, mean, I mean, right now the the, the slates and the scoreboards have been cleaned. It's time to see what they've all learned. Kind of like working around each other, We're try trying to do Ooh, their best with each other. Ooh, he's moving. He's running back and forth, and it's right now. Quid is not exactly sure when he can get his openings in. Much more of a defensive play, as you can see. Yeah. I'm not even sure I call it scared, but just there's a confidence that Miles has when he's moving that Quid doesn't. He has no jump. He's fine. Uh, he's gonna make it back. Is there gonna be? All right, he's gonna push him up there. Is the Ivy Star? All right, kind of keep him in the corner. He does actually break through back to center stage, though. But, but quit. Good jump. All right, nice. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Yoshi's double jump armor, you do get reduced knockback, uh, even if it breaks your armor. Ooh, oh, but he's wow. able to. That was amazing. The fact that he got reduced knockback meant that they could actually combo into the up. That's that matchup knowledge, you know? Sometimes you're just ready for it, especially if you play the same guy oh, that many times. You start yeah. to realize a few things. I, I sense the implication there. <laughs> you see, the, you see the relationship. All right, but let's let's see if Miles is going to be able to find a way to. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. There's a way to keep himself in it. Yeah, that is kind of one of the weaknesses of Ivysaur. He's most likely to be juggled, honestly, that is by true. Yoshi. Even Charizard, who's a big target, he has multiple jumps. He has pretty solid air speed. So uh, when when uh, Ivysaur is stuck above Yoshi, that's kind of what Yoshi when Yoshi wants to really be exploiting. And actually, the dash grab. Connecting right there. Right. I'm noticing. You know what I'm noticing? Miles is definitely like using a lot of these short hops in order to just kind of like spook quit. Oh, he, you saw it, right? He, he just didn't get grabbed. Yoshi privilege. Yoshi things. Some, sometimes the Yoshi do what the Yosh wants. All right. Although, although he's definitely keeping himself in it. Although this is Ivy Sword talk about one vine whip is definitely. I should just stop saying it. I should just I stop. I mean, it's that's what we like in the business like to call the prophecy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you know what, Miles? Still, kind of like before, he's still fight, he's still fighting though. He's not letting it deter him. Yeah, and I mean, one of the things about Yoshi is the fact that with his amazing airspeed, he can sort of chase down opponents while still being out of their range. We saw how he was just at the right spot to still get in there for a forward air to punish off the punish off some of Quid's aerials. But now we're getting to the point where he needs to find the kill. Right. He finally like does it. Yep. Man, just gets him with the call out. All right, not that far out. Like I mean, I was about to say like one down here, we'll definitely put him like right back in. But you know what? Close enough. Still got to contend with these squirrel combos. We know squirrel damage output is exceedingly high. Oh yeah. Well, it's the individual moves, not so much, but the, it's the fact that he hits like 17 of them at once. Oh, he has no jump. Well, he's he, off stage, no jump. Well, he he hits 17 of them, and then he's also in position to get another one. All right, but you know what? Miles definitely fi fighting back. Oh, looking for that downer. That downer would have been massive, but as it stands, about... Oh, that might be it. Oh, okay, that he, he tried to hit him with the tweak setup from Evo. All right. So I'm wondering, are we going to get... Ooh, Did you almost. See that almost. Yes. All right, Charizard time. Char time. Yeah. Oh, oh did, you see, did you see the fist bump? What? You see the little, uh, the little fist bump? Oh, no, I there? missed it. All uh, right. I, can't quite I was it. I was too busy looking at the real back. <laughs> well, as soon as it, well as soon as it went to the kids the, the kill screen, I just kind of turned around. I saw him just like, ooh, the pop off, the mini pop off for game one. I mean, that was a close game one. These two are very evenly matched. I mean, one was seated four, one was seated five, and you can see why. Mm -hmm. well, so they're right where we expect them to be. Oh uh, yeah, I know you're not gonna. Yeah, they're, no, they're no, the no, same no, they're, he's he's yeah. in the middle of a chat with one of the, with his bud. Does that count as coaching? <laughs> just talking with your bud count as coaching. What if your bud's just tell just showing you a meme on his phone? It counts as coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Alright, we got the run back though. Right straight back to the stadium. Um, Miles not letting it bother him too much. And I do want to mention how last game, the way it started, was with Miles, it felt like moving around totally so free as a bird. This time around though, quit throwing out a lot of these more long-lasting moves that Squirtle has, the back air, the down air, the neutral air in order to shut down that sort of thing. But here comes the adaptation, Miles getting the parries, getting big damage in for himself. Ooh. Ooh. 
I might have seen a jump there. I don't think he has. Yeah, he has to land now. Alright. Let's see, though. Let's see if either of them's gonna find that opening that leads to lethal. Al almost from the uh, from the Ivy Sword. That Bind Whip has definitely been. Ooh! I think he maybe had enough time to buffer a ledge option, but he just wasn't quite ready for it. Not quite. Yeah. Alright. Interesting choice to go back to Squirrel at this point. I mean, I can kind of see it. I guess maybe you need it just because. I think I'm at this sure. point, so at this point, it feels like Squirtle is the next neutral, and as soon as he gets him off stage, I was but, about to say. But oh, oh you know, no, never mind. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna eat my words. He's gonna, he's gonna hit him with two of them. All right. Yeah, like he didn't want to be charged out in that situation. He's at low percent, so he switches to Squirtle, and then instead of insta switching to Ivysaur, he's going to try and get as much mileage like out of it as he can. Squirtle might not be able to kill, but he can get him off stage pretty easily. All right. He is stuck there. He does all try chasing down just to see what's going to... Oh, not quite. Okay, catch. That's a good arm. All right, oh, Ivysaur. He's gonna he find is no jump. He is no jump off stage right he's now. In danger. Oh, he's, he's getting pushed Still away. No jump. I think he's burned two eggs, too. Okay, but you know what? The air mobility is definitely going to keep him in there. No, not quite. Ooh, ooh, but he's still going. He air dodges, but with that beautiful air mobility, he gets back down to the ground. But Miles taking 83%. Pretty soon he might actually be dying. He's been stuck in this corner for so long. He's got to find a way back. <laughs> you saw the startup frames of Up Smash. Yeah. But that neutral air just came out too quick. He still has no legend invincibility. And Miles doesn't actually get to uh, capitalize on it. And now this is the point where, oh, that should be it. All yeah. right, there's... Finally finds what he's been looking for this whole time. All right, you know, all right. All right, this is definitely Miles' chance to make something happen. Uh, back throw, gonna keep him in the corner to fight to contest with this Ivy Sword. Not quite gonna be able to get anything off it though. All oh. right, there, there's the starter. There we go. What are we looking at? Okay, yeah, he was looking for some big, big punish right there. Now that Miles has this lead though, he's trying to play a little bit more careful, spacing just outside of the uh, outside of width of range. Yeah, that's really been the, the when Miles is succeeding. That's how he's doing it. Oh, that might. Oh, okay. Oh, the rever the turnaround on the up tilt though. Yes, because the front half doesn't actually have a hitbox. I was no, I was like complimenting. Like, look at that. All right, hit bomb. Ooh, That's nice. it. He's dead. Yeah. That's it. Game three. Let's wow. go. A commanding response from Miles for that second game. All right, now it is worth noting Miles is slightly uh, advantaged. You know, we were seated at fourth as opposed to we quits fifth. Um, but I mean. I genuinely have no idea how this game three is going to shape up. I've seen him counterpick a lot to PS2. Um, I know that Miles is definitely okay with that stage, but oh, it looks like we actually might be getting Battlefield. All right. I do think this is an amazing stage for Pokemon Trainer. Also, solid stage for Yoshi. Very true. This is just and one of those stages that like just a lot of characters just like to get down with. Yeah, and I think it's like it's the sort of stage where there are certain things that characters can now take advantage of that they're on uh, battlefields. However, I mean, we already saw that Miles is able to get a huge mileage off of uh, <laughs> pun not intended <laughs> uh, off of the platforms and getting these big platform combos. It's true. We'll probably see it come up a lot later from Pokemon Trainer. Ivy Sword's platform pressure tends to be exceptionally good in a lot of situations, but I mean, yeah, Miles definitely get a oh, that's gonna be a hard time. Harsh. Man, there are all sorts of little tiny things here, like the way that Miles is drifting off stage with these forward Ooh. airs to make sure he can follow through with them. And that's 119% onto Quid. We've already seen that he, uh, Miles has to be careful with overextending. Earlier on, he got his double jump snatched and almost turns that comeback around. All right. All right, here comes some of that pressure from Ivysaur. All right. Oh, nice combo. Nice confirm. All right, let's see. This is looking... Like a pretty uphill battle for Quid. He's got a lot of ground to make up after that one. Yeah, right uh, now I think he's looking for some kind of really meaningful edge guard. He's got him at, trapped at the ledge here, but oh, oh. You, so, Squirtle can almost never break Yoshi double jump power. He's not letting him through. through. He's not letting him go. <laughs> he's just continuously getting more and more damage. It's eighty percent in the blink of an eye. And Quinn it's still is going. Really struggling. Ooh. Yeah, that's not going to quite do it, but it is going to put him in a really bad position. Oh. 
He's Ooh, dead. Yeah. Two Dude. three stocks to one right now. <laughs> look at the look at the momentum from Miles right now. And it's he's still doing what was working out for him earlier. Just spacing barely outside of Quid's range. But you know, sometimes even with odd space, sometimes Ivy Sword manages to find a hit anyway. Well he went I think he got, he kinda committed to getting in close yeah. right there. Yeah. Although, you know, to be really though, like like just like you're saying, like Miles has just been doing getting so much out of just using like this insane mobility that Yoshi brings to the table. Oh yeah. Alright. Nice little squirrel com nice squirrel combo. Leads into the Ivysaur. Alright, manages to push through it. Yeah, exactly yep. like you're saying. That armor. Okay, good parry coming out from Quid here. He needs to try and avoid taking as much damage as possible because otherwise, oh, even if he does manage to take this stock, he's already at 96 on his final Ooh, one. He's dead. There he goes. Just gently floats down there with him and just like, just waits for him. To